the TFE-12 versus the E-Leaf 300. How's it going everybody? This is Andy with AspenValleyVapes.com. Today we're going to be comparing the Smock TFE-12 and the E-Leaf 300. Now most of this video is going to take place up close, showing you the differences between these two tanks. But at the end, I am going to bring it up top and I will be vaping on both these and showing you guys the difference between the two. With that being said, let's dive in, take a close up look at these two tanks. Alrighty, here we have the two tanks up close, E-Leaf 300 on the right, Smock TFV-12 on the left. Both of these tanks do have a 25 millimeter diameter on the base. Up on top though, the TFV-12, this glass portion is 28 millimeters, while on the E-Leaf 300 it stays 25 millimeters throughout the entire tank. TFV-12 on the left has a 6 milliliter e-liquid capacity, and then the E-Leaf 300 on the right has a 6.5 milliliter e-liquid capacity. So you do have 0.5 more e-liquid capacity inside of the E-Leaf 300. The TFV-12 is about 10 millimeters taller than the E-Leaf 300. This comes in at 70 millimeters, while the E-Leaf 300 comes in at 60 millimeters. So 10 millimeters taller on the TFV-12. Both of these tanks, as you guys can see, have pretty similar dual bottom adjustable airflows on here. Here we have the dual bottom adjustable airflow on the E-Leaf 300 dual bottom adjustable on the TFV-12. The one thing that is a little bit different on the TFV-12 is it doesn't lock into place when it's opened or fully closed. It just continues spinning around. But looking at them side by side, you can see that airflow is pretty much identical in terms of the size on both of these. Both these tanks have different top filling mechanisms. On the E-Leaf 300, you slide it open here, and it slides open to reveal a fill slot. Slide it back in. It is locked back in place. The TFV-12 it uses the classic swing open latch style like on the TFV-4, TFV-8, and the Baby Beast. So you'll swing that open, you'll have your filling port, slide it back into place, lock it, and you're good to go on that. Here are the two drip tips that come with each of these. The TFV-12 is on the left, E-Leaf 300 on the right. The TFV-12 is a much more wide board drip tip than the E-Leaf 300, but they both do have a decent sized diameter here. Personally, I like the drip tip on the E-Leaf 300 a little bit more than on the TFV-12. All right, here we have the replacement coils for the E-Leaf 300 and TFV-12. On the left, you can see the T-12 coil for the TFV-12. And then on the right, we have the sextuple coil on the E-Leaf 300. This is their 300 watt coil on the E-Leaf. You can see they have three dual vertical style coils inside of here to make up six coils inside of this. Diameter wise, the TFV-12 coil is a tad bit bigger. You can see on the bottom, the airflow on them. I like the airflow on the E-Leaf 300 coils a little bit more than the TFV-12, but not by much. From the bottom there, you can see they do have that same style. But the E-Leaf 300 coil is just a tad bit smaller. That is going to take care of this close-up, though. I believe I did cover everything. If I missed anything, please, please let me know down in the comments. It's been a while, like I said, since I've done a comparison video, and it's sort of out of my normal flow that I do for a video. So if I did miss anything, please let me know. For now, let's bring it up on back up top, and I'm going to have a few vapes on each of these coils at the same wattage range. And I'll let you know my overall thoughts and give you a breakdown of these two tanks. All right, now that we've got that close comparison out of the way, let's go ahead and have a few vapes on these two tanks. I've got the same e-liquid in both of them. I have the Sour Belts Green Apple inside of both of these tanks, and that's a 70-30 VGPG blend. I have the T12 coil inside of this TFE12, and I have the Sextuple coil inside of the e-leaf 300 watt. Let's go ahead and start off with a vape at 150 watts. This one is going to be on the TFE12. All right, that was at 150 watts there. I'm gonna pop the E-Leaf 300 on here and bake that at 150 watts now. All right, we are still at 150 watts this time with the E-Leaf 300. All right, this is probably gonna be applicable to all the different wattages that I'm gonna be vaping at here, but 150 watts, you can see the vapor production was on the TFP-12, it was better than on the E-Leaf 300. Flavor-wise though, I'm going to pick the E-Leaf 300 at 150 watts, and that's likely gonna be the case for these three different wattage ranges. I'm gonna bump it up to 200 next, and then 300 after that. All right, so this is with the E-Leaf 300 at 200 watts. Flavor is still surprisingly good at that 200 watt range on the E-Leaf 300. I'm gonna pop the TFV-12 on here. Let's see how it vapes. 200 watts on the TFV-12. Okay, okay. Flavor-wise at 200 watts, that E-Leaf 300 is still performing better in the flavor category. 
but the TFE 12 was a lot more smoother at 200 watts there, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting the Elite 300 to be smoother and better flavor throughout the wattage range, but surprisingly, at 200 watts, this T12 coil inside of here is actually smoother than the Elite 300 at 200 watts. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up one more time to 300 watts and then have a vape on both of them. All right, here we have the TFE 12 at 300 watts. That's pretty intense. The first two vapes on that TFV 12 at 300 watts were good, but that third vape that sent me into a coughing frenzy there, just because I'm not used to vaping at that high of a wattage range. It wasn't a dry hit, it was just very warm and I was not expecting that. I did put the E-Leaf 300 on here now though, and we have it at 300 watts, which is the max on the coil inside of this E-Leaf 300. All right, at that 300 watt range, the TFB-12 is going to be the winner. It is a much smoother vape at 300 watts. It's still pretty powerful, but it is smoother than on the E-Leaf 300 watt with the six double coil inside of here. 200 watt range, that's sort of a toss up between the two. And then at the 150 watts, I like the E-Leaf 300 the most. So for my overall comparison on these two and helping you guys decide which one is best for you, I'd say it's gonna come down to flavor versus vapor production. If you want more vapor production, you're gonna to wanna to go with the TFP12. If you're gonna want the better flavor, I would say go with the E-Leaf 300 out of the two. Now there are a ton of factors that do go into that decision, but between these two, that is just the easiest way to describe them, compare them, I guess you would say, E-Leaf 300 flavor, TFV 12 vapor production. And that's not saying that the vapor production on the E-Leaf 300 sucks or anything like that, or same for the TFV 12 in terms of flavor. One major selling point of the smock though is that smock releases a bunch of different coil options even after the tank has been released. They did it with the TFV 4, they did it with the TFV 8, and they did it with the TFV 8 Baby Beast. Smock continues to release different coil options, different rebuildable decks, all that good stuff a long time after the tank has actually been released. With an E-Leaf product, when they release the tank, you pretty much know what coil options you're gonna get. They did release like new coils for the eye care so that it is possible to release some more for the e-leaf 300 but you have a much better chance of getting more options when you buy a smock product because it's something they have a track record of doing on pretty much all of their tanks that's pretty much going to take care of this comparison video though if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see in these comparison videos i know the vapor production i'm trying to get some better angles for that to show you guys the vapor production better like a side angle coming in from the side shooting it from the side so you can see that vapor production better I am working on getting in that in there, but if there's any other suggestions, I haven't done one of these comparison videos for probably about six, seven months now, so it's been a while. Let me know if there's anything you guys wanna see included in these comparisons, anything like that. And I am gonna figure out a time and date to set for the live stream. That was a lot of fun. I did one on Friday. I know a lot of you guys missed that, and then there was some cute confusion. I know some of you guys thought I was live when it was really just the recording that YouTube would put up there. But that was a lot of fun, and that's definitely gonna be something I regularly do. I'll be live streaming at the office once a week, maybe even more than once a week if you guys want to see it. If you guys have any suggestions for that too as well, please let me know down in the comments. And if you do want to be reminded of when I do go live stream, it'll send out like a push notification. If you click that little bell button down there, right below this video, there's a little bell notification button. If you do click that, it'll send you a push notification when I do end up going live. I want to try to get a time that's good for everyone. I know on Friday, I was pretty much, I think it was like two o'clock on a Friday afternoon. So I know a lot of you folks were at work and stuff like that. So I want to find a good time for everyone. I know it's hard with a lot of you guys over sees too to find a good time medium but I'm gonna do the best I can to find a good spot for that I also have been bringing another camera around with me filming a few things trying to give you guys more behind the scenes stuff at Aspen Valley Vape sort of like a vlog style uh, if you guys have any suggestions for that as well I would love to hear it down in the comments because I'm all ears that is gonna wrap this one on up if you guys have any questions about either of these tanks or any other vape related questions please leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to get back to you and if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe it is greatly appreciated and as always Vape on.